Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Razak at CM Trading. Today is July 27, 2016, and today is Wednesday morning. So looking at the economic calendar today, starting at 10.30 a.m. South African time, we have Great Britain pound GDP preliminary numbers. And then the rest of the day, we've got just U.S. numbers coming out, um, all in the shadow of the FOMC meeting tonight at 8 p.m. South African time. Of course, it is Wednesday today, so we do have uh, at 4.30 crude oil numbers. But those are really um, the two major numbers today uh, out of the United States. I think all the other numbers that are going to be populated today are actually going to uh, be overshadowed by the FOMC meeting clearly by tonight. So let's look at the markets. We're looking at oil right here. Uh, since it's up, let's do it. So it's trading at 42.74. We had mentioned this early this week. It looked like it was getting weaker and weaker. And, you know, if you would have shorted it earlier this week at 43-ish, we were trading at 43.25-ish, 43.50-ish. Uh, could have made a buck and a half here in this trade. So, you know, it's still in a downwards trend. My target would be closer to 40. Uh, and we had mentioned this yesterday that there's a little bit of a support here. Okay, anticipated support as there was previous resistance. So let's see if we hold this line or are we actually going to break it and hit this 40.75 level. So you got to keep an eye on this today to see how this um, how this works out, especially with the uh, number coming out on crude oil later today. Looking at the Euro USD, uh, let's start. We're trading at below 110. Okay, we receded all the way to 109.55. And we're bounced off a little bit and trading at 199. So, you know, the euro being at less than 110, major number, okay, it is a major event. And as you can see, you know, as long as you're playing the levels, okay, um, you you can make money, okay. And and I'm not these these lines that I've set up on 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 the graph are not ones that I do post facto, the ones that I do before you know, the, the markets actually were traced to these levels. And you could see, you know, time and time again, we've hit these levels before, we've sustained them, we've broken them, and they're still trading to these levels. So, you know, call it, you know, a customized Fibonacci, which it's not, but call it call it support and resistance, okay? And, and this is really trading within its ranges of support and resistance here, as you can see, uh, for a considerable long time okay so it's it's you know it's trading in a in, in a range okay but if you play those levels like I said again uh, you'll see that you know over time you will make money okay if you're scalping this it's a great stock it's a great symbol to, to scalp looking at the Dow Jones we're up this morning 18,444 yesterday we were trading at 442 at the same time right now so really unchanged on the Dow Jones we're off by about 50 to 60 points off of our all-time highs on the Dow Jones. Apple coming out with uh, earnings yesterday. Um, in certain regards, it beat certain estimates. In certain regards, it did not. Um, so we'll see how this actually follows through with the markets and how the markets are going to respond to uh, to continued strength in the U.S. economy. So, you know, you have to keep an eye on it, especially after the FOMC meeting tonight. Did they rally this in order to take it further down? You know, these are things that need to be uh, addressed today, and we'll see. The proof is going to be in the pudding. Unfortunately, sometimes it's, you know, you can't trade it. Okay, going into a number, I'm of the p opinion that you shouldn't trade it going into the number. Now, going after the number, there could be a few things that happen. Either it has one directional move, okay, and then corrects itself simultaneously, or it has one directional move and continues in that direction, or nothing happens. But, you know, we all know that nothing never happens. And there's always something that's going to be happening in the market. So, you know, pay attention to how uh, today, and the Dow Jones is usually the most affected by the number that comes out today. Dow Jones and gold. Gold trading at 113, uh, excuse me, 1318. Okay, and we're pretty much at the same level we were yesterday, uh, 1316, 1317-ish level. So we look like we're, you know, leveling out here. We're, we're uh, uh, consolidating. Uh, and let's see if we do have this big move today as we've entered this lower part of this range at 1311-ish, okay? So you know, this is my range between 1348 and 1318. Um, 
you know, let's say if it sustains this level, the support level, and then bounces off of it. This is Fred Rezac at CM Training. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.